Alright guys, so I'm just giving you a little bit of warning at the beginning of this video that I did put a um, beef stew recipe in this video. It's like the last five minutes or so of this video. So if you want to see that, it's at the end of the video. So just giving you guys a little heads up about that because some of y'all don't want to see a recipe. Some of y'all do. Whatever. Regardless, just let y'all know that the recipe is at the end of the video, like the last part of the video literally is the recipe. So yeah, that's it. On with the vlog. What's up guys? Happy, what's today? Happy Tuesday. Thanks for tuning in to yet another episode of My Basic Ass Life. And the let the basicness ensue because there's literally not very much to do today, but Decided I'm going to vlog anyway. I was supposed to put up a video yesterday, but I didn't really vlog over the weekend. So, today is going to be a same day vlog and upload today. <laughs> so, um, yeah, welcome to it, y'all. Welcome to my life today. Mama, oh, what would you think of it? We've been on this long road accumulating luggage. And as time proceeds, preoccupied with everything. I think it's about time that we sing of nothing. What's up? Been on this long road, accumulating legacy. And the sound proceeds, preoccupied with everything I think. It's about time that I think of nothing. Go! Go! So, y'all, we're at Walmart. Say hey, moms. Hello. So, um, we're at Walmart. We're not at our regular Walmart. We're at another Walmart where Chelsea works. We're about to start working it. And so. We're going in here to send some money and what are we gonna do while Chelsea's in there for an hour? So yeah, we're gonna have to find something to do while we wait for Chelsea to finish whatever she gotta do in here. So So mom, what's been going on? Nothing really. Still liking it? I love it. Y'all, she's ready to go back to work. Which I think is crazy. Like, why not take your why not take your um vacation and just embrace it? She's ready to go back to the hustle and bustle of work, y'all. I don't get it. <laughs> what you looking for, mama? It doesn't have a money center. You gotta go through like the regular customer service. So yeah, yeah. I'll come back when I figure out what we're about to do. Hi. So um, we're inside of Payless, y'all. Just browsing, y'all. I forgot to take out the camera so y'all can see the puppies. We was at the pet store holding puppies. <laughs> I forgot to take out my camera. So we ain't buying nothing, really. We just looking. Let me see those, mom. Those are ugly. What? You know what? Yeah. Let me. Y'all look at these shoes. Ew, these are not cute. Ooh, not cute at all. Thing. But they're not cute. So they're comfortable and ugly. That's like those squint shoes like this. Oh, I hate these shoes. Oh, Hold on, y'all. I'm going to show y'all these shoes. I'm so glad you found those. Oh, my gosh. Y'all, this is so ugly. Oh, my God. I, I hate these yeah. shoes. <laughs> but, yeah, y'all, we're just browsing around, killing time while Chelsea's in Walmart. Ooh, those are cute. Let me show. I like those. These are cute, right? Super cute. I like oh, those I like too. These to go good with her jeans. Those are super cute. I like those. Yep. Oh, where you got this from? Hopefully, my hand is not over the speaker. Ooh, I like these. I like these too, Mama. These. I'm not good on. Hold on. Go up. With We're tights just a long skirt. or tights, these are so cute, y'all. We finally live in a place where boots it gets cold enough to wear boots and coats and stuff. And so, I'm getting boots so that I can wear some boots. I've never owned a pair of boots, Mama. Things? Why have you never bought me boots in my life? It never got hot, cold enough to put no boots, not even the cute fashion boots. Mm, I don't believe it. Y'all, when I was growing up, my mom was very like 
she would not buy me colored shoes. I always only had black or white or a mixture of the two. Never pink, never sparkly. I think I got light up shoes one time because I pitched a real fit and I had light up shoes. No, 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 no. You didn't even buy those. Major bought those light up shoes. Yep. She hated those shoes. Yama Mama is like weird. Super weird. I'm not weird. You are weird, Mom. Oh. My mama. What was that you were showing me just now, mama? Oh. Look at this, like, Marilyn Monroe little yeah, note cards. Ooh, Andy Warhol. How many of y'all know who Andy Warhol is? Let me know in the comments. I would hope everyone. <laughs> the soup man. I think it. Really, mom? Stop! I've told them to tell me in the comments. Why would you tell them? <laughs> but yeah. So y'all, I'm a huge Toni Morrison fan. I first started reading uh, Toni Morrison in high school. Yeah, I was a bookworm. I've always been a bookworm, but um, I've read almost, I think I've read just about every single one of her books, but um, they're all like iconic classics, y'all. Like Tar Baby. This one was a good one. Let's see. If you like, if you like black authors, I guess. <clears throat> but it's not like, it's not like the ghetto black authors. What you call it? But what, what's the genre that is called with the hood books? It's like a. They say African American fiction, it but it's urban. Urban. It's not urban fiction. It's more. Um. It's more like historical fiction. I guess you would call it. Um, like Song of Solomon. This one was good. But if you never read Toni Morrison and you're into stuff and you're looking for something new and not like a urban book, you should definitely read Toni Morrison stuff. It's really good. <clears throat> I was a huge, huge fan. Still am a huge fan. Can you ask again? Oh, ooh, this is a good book, y'all. This is a good book. Before they took it off of the reading list in school, this was on, I want to say, when I was like in 8th grade or ninth grade, this was on the reading list, but then it disappeared from the reading list now. They, this is not even on the summer reading list anymore, but A Lesson Before Dying is a very, very good book. Very good. You should read it. It was on the Oprah's Book Club. <laughs> I forgot to show y'all what my mama bought as far as a book. Hold on, let me do it. So, this is the book she bought. Anne Rice, Servant of the Bones. In my opinion, Anne Rice is another uh, long-winded writer. It takes her forever to get to the point. I'm impatient, so I don't read Anne Rice. I read um, The Vampire Lestat. I read Interview with the Vampire. I read... Is it, is it the body snatcher? Yeah, I can think of it if it's called the body snatcher or not, or the body thief. I think it's the body thief. Those are the ones that I read from Ann Rice. They were good, but it took a long time to get to the point. So Mama is getting this, and I guess she'll tell me how she likes it. But um, yeah, that's what she's what we got from the bookstore. Right, y'all so I am home I am starting on this beef stew so um let me turn around and show y'all what I'm doing just a quick brief glance glance at what I'm doing so what I'm doing right now is I just I season my meat and then I put it in some flour here get it all coated with flour put it in the oil and I pretty much fry it the beef until it's brown like it has a brown coating on it and just put it in the crock pot and then after i do that after i do all the meat and i put it in my crock pot over there um i chop up my onions my bell peppers um and open up and open up my bag of carrots and what else and i put in my beef broth i put in my onion soup mix because that just makes everything taste delicious 
and I put in my Worcestershire sauce and then I turn it on high for like five or six hours or whatever until it's done and it comes out so delicious and great and yummy that's pretty much what I do with beef stew y'all it's not rocket science at all super easy so that's what the meat looks like all browned and such and I just once I browned it and so like the, the reason for browning it y'all is it gives it more flavor it helps with the gravy it just it's really good just do it okay or not if you're not into like frying your meat or putting flour on it or whatever and you like bland food you know you could do whatever you want but this is just how I do it it's just so simple the biggest thing is when you brown the meat that's what takes the longest but um so I just put the I brown the meat this is my onion and bell pepper just dump that in and I give that a stir just kind of give it a little quick stir it doesn't have to be chopped perfect then I take my carrots and I just kind of dump them in I'm trying to do it with one hand it's actually pretty hard <laughs> Yeah, so I just dump it in so I'm satisfied that it's enough carrots, which is like, that's enough. And I try to give it a little bit of a stir. Yeah, all this is weird trying to do this with one hand so that I can show you. But yeah, so I give it a bit of a stir. Okay, then I put in my beef broth. Just pour the entire container in there and also I did season my beef some people don't I do I season my beef look at that nice beautiful broth y'all this is the um I use the kitchen basics organic beef broth it's it looks so nice right okay then I put in my packet of onion soup mix if I can do it with my hands hold on I'm open it up. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> okay, put in my onion soup mix. This just is just purely for good flavor. Yeah, there's like a hundred things you can put onion soup mix in, and it just makes it wonderful. <laughs> okay, so I put my whiz and get down. Seriously, y'all, this cat. Me and this cat battles. It's crazy. Um, anyway. So, then I just, you know, mix it up, which I'll do better in a few minutes. And then, of course, you can't do beef stew without putting some Worcestershire sauce in it. Um, y'all, I don't measure. I just eyeball a couple of that much. I don't know. <laughs> and give it another stir. So after I get this all started, I'll show y'all what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like once I have mixed it all up. It's all good and combined. And the one container of beef broth is, was enough for what I did. And I put it on six hours on high. And you just put the top on it, y'all, and you like literally just forget it. It's going to cook itself. And another thing that I do... Um, Sometimes, depending on if I want gravy or not, I'll add a packet of brown gravy mix to this just so that it can be thicker, like have a thicker gravy. Or you can put um, like three tablespoons of flour in some water and make a slurry, like, you know, and you can pour that in here and that'll make a gravy. Or you can do it on the stove and make an old fashioned gravy. Or you can just put some, um, what's it called? Or. Or you can put some, um, y'all, what is it called? A cornstarch? You can mix a little bit of that and put a little bit of that in there and it'll make it thick. So you could, or you can use potatoes, whatever, to make it thick or thin. Because I know some people eat it like soup. And I'm just like, girl, no. <laughs> but yeah, that's my beef stew, y'all. It's nothing, nothing major. But yeah, so that's going to be in this vlog. That's it, y'all. I'm not doing nothing else today. Um, this, this food is going to cook itself. I'm not going to have to get up to make no dinner or nothing. And I'm just about to go and get some rest because I did not sleep last night, so I'm tired. So, yeah, that's it. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog and my little semi-impromptu 
beef stew recipe. <laughs> <laughs> and um yeah see you guys in the next one thanks for watching give this video a thumbs up guys and yeah see you in the next one bye